Hello everyone and welcome to episode 137 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week I'm going to be doing something I have never done before, funny enough, and it's involving the Invencia Pixpal palette and I'm going to be using a little quadrant of the texture called plastic. Never used that one before, but it's a, a glossy pre-configured setting and I don't know why I haven't used it, but it's time today. And I was thinking I'm going to make something glossy and I thought maybe a candy cane uh, because I haven't modeled a candy cane either. So maybe I can find a modifier. How about uh, a simple deform modifier and we can see how quickly we can make a candy cane because I always was just realizing some games actually have stuff like glossy things berries uh, apples candy canes so i'm gonna do a few of those objects and see how much we can get in 10 minutes so have a look at this texture and we've got the standard the glow used a lot of that dull metal shiny and down here the plastic quadrant i've actually not used mirror either so maybe we should try that as well sometime anyway let's put 10 minutes on the clock and get ready to model so ready steady go when we're off yep it's taken down so i'm gonna do tab into edit mode and do g on the left side on the uvs slide it down to red plastic that's it and i'm gonna do control 2 for a subdivision modifier tab out of edit mode or into edit mode right click and do shade smooth and we've got a little ball there red glossy shifty to duplicate actually i'm gonna yeah duplicate the whole object on the x-axis maybe we'll do a few objects there uh, see how far we get Grab, actually, I'm going to colorize these sides now. I'm going to slide them onto white on the plastic as well for uh, reflective. But let's move this one up. G, Z, maybe 20 pixels. Control R, loop cut, and type in 20 there as well. We want a whole bunch of loop cuts. Control R again, because on the ends, I want it to be a little bit sharper. And let's go out of edit mode and go to the modifier tab, add modifier, and deform, simple deform. And we're going to start with bend. No, we're just going to start with twisting it. And along the z-axis and maybe 1440 is a bunch of the 360 revolutions is it four or something three i don't know but that looks pretty good uh, we'll add another modifier deform and we're going to go simple deform again and this time we're going to bend it and then 180 degrees i guess and it's not going to be a half donut so we need to figure out which axis maybe on the y-axis something like that and we can do ah uh, let's see there's restrictions here you can slide this one and slide this one up. I don't know why it spins the whole candy cane around, but something like that will do. And then, I, I don't know why it's... Uh, but let's apply all these. Control A, Control A, Control A. And we'll just have to man man manually like rotate this thing a little bit into place now. Gee, so that's our candy cane. How, like, uh, I've spent two and a half minutes. G to move that one. There we go. So, actually, I'll move the whole object to the side. We'll do an apple here. That should be fast. So, we'll move this uh, thing here. Tab should be proportionally correct. I don't know how big that candy cane is. <laughs> so here we'll do uh, I to inset because I'm going to do it at the top here. Uh, e to extrude and I to inset and then shit. This is a glossy apple, isn't it? <laughs> e to extrude because I separated that one. R to rotate, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale and then control R. And L, this apparently is going to be a glossy uh, thing as well. <laughs> so like a, a bonus thing in a, in a video game. Shift E to duplicate this one, scale it, rotate it, uh, E to extrude it, scale on the Z axis, and up! Oh, there we go. And this should really be attached, I think, to make it like a leaf. Oh! Okay. Ah, how do I grab that? Where is it even? Alt Z, so I can see X ray. There we go. All right, so that's our apple. Okay, actually, I should uh, do something down here as well, shouldn't I? Uh, I to inset, and ah! I have to move the mouse cursor away here. I to inset so I can get a little bit better control. A little tip there. And E to extrude. And I don't know. Control. This feels like this apple has uh, suddenly become like a plum somehow. There we go. Control R. Scale. I'm not happy with this apple at all now. Anyway, that's the apple. <laughs> it's shiny. Uh, what's happened here? Feels like there's, there's a dent in the apple. Why is there a dent in the apple? Should we pretend we're not seeing that? Yeah, maybe it's a reflection. It's probably a reflection. Oh, it's a reflection in the HDR. Let's do a cherry. How am I doing? Sys 33. Because cherries are like in video games too, like bonus thing, Pac-Man and stuff. So maybe I'll uh, I'll join these two together. So Control J, uh, eight select everything, L select the link. I'll move them a little bit closer here, and L L Alt S make it a little bit larger. There we go. And then Shift select these, and I'm going to do period individual origins. Scale these down. Move them down, E to extrude, 
S to scale to there, E to extrude, S to scale. And these are looking a bit strange, but never mind. Uh, they're gonna be glossy, so everything's glossy today. So, and now I guess I'll just like view from the front here or the back or whatever this is, and then control, uh, control right click to extrude the, that up. And then I'll do the same here. If I do it right on this, uh, then they should match up pretty good here like that. And then maybe I'll do shifty to duplicate that on and just make like as if it's like connecting to something here. So that's our cherry. Don't know if it should be different. Anyway, uh, what should we do? Um, okay, I'm running out of fruit here. Let's make a glossy candle, maybe a candle. That makes no sense, but let's do it. <laughs> shifty to duplicate, we'll borrow that on. S to scale this one and move it down here. E to extrude, E to extrude and E to extrude. Why am I making a candle in all this mess? Because it's glossy. I, I ran out of glossy things to think about. <laughs> e to extrude and E to extrude. Why is it so... Ah, I to inset. You can't, I can't even see what I'm doing. I have to do Alt Z so I can see through. This is a thick candle actually. Uh, scale, Shift Z. Let's make it a little bit thinner. And then I think uh, here I'm going to make it so like it's melted a bit here, but I'll have to do I to inset again. There we go. Shift E to duplicate that on, move it down and we'll do a wick, not John Wick, a little wick. Uh, e to extrude, E to extrude, uh, R to rotate, E to extrude. It looks like the Apple thing. <laughs> Control R, L to select the link and like, uh, like make that dark brown. 424. Okay, how am I do? Maybe we can deform. Why is this uh, cherry ball like right inside of there? Uh, Maybe we can do a, like a, I don't know, something else that is round, that's glossy, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna do a glossy mushroom as well, why not? <laughs> that makes no sense, but if it's a bonus item in the game, I guess. E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude, L select link. Here's like glossy wood as well, I'm just going glossy overboard here. Makes absolutely no sense. Once again, control R, we think we need another loop cut here. And maybe we should do like a little bit, like it's melting a bit or something as well, who knows. Uh, Maybe, I don't know, makes sense or something. That ah, looks like a weird edge. Anyway, candle. Uh, okay, so what else did I say? A mushroom, why am I making a glossy mushroom? I'm running out of things here. I should have thought of more things to model. Uh, let's see, why is this one? LP selection, right click. Why is the origin over there? Origin to, no, not a 3D cursor, center of surface. There we go. I'm gonna have three minutes to make a mushroom. So why am I? Oh, I'm not going to stop asking myself that question. Uh, eight select everything, Alt S to scale it up, and top one there, why not? E to extrude. And what does mushroom look like? How can I? E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. Oh, well, Shift D to duplicate that one. Scale it up. Still round, yeah, that's good. E to extrude. For a video game, I think it could be good. E to extrude for some reason. S to scale it. And then here, I to inset, E to extrude, S to scale, I to inset again, control plus, and then just go, they're usually white underneath, aren't they? But I want to have a dark, darker there. And this base needs to be white as well. And the shape is awful. Uh, S to scale, and that's a mushroom actually. I should try to put some dots on it. How do I do dots quickly? Two minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, okay, we need dots on it, uh, so I'll, Shift select these, I guess. Shift D to duplicate that. Uh, actually, I'll do the base as well, should I? Yeah, let's go for that. Shift D to duplicate it. P to separate the selection into new object. I'll have to apply this mirror modifier, or not the, like the subdivision. That's not enough dots, is it? Yeah, it could be. Uh, I'll just shift select a bunch of these now. Okay, these are not so good because they're not going to be square if I do this. I have to manually make these a little bit more square because I should have but otherwise I think there'll be like rounded dots or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, F3, uh, check or deselect. No, select random is good, but quite only a few. Actually, I don't really like uh, that it's selecting stuff that's next to each other. So I'm just gonna manually shift select a bunch of these anyway to make sure it's like a poisson disc, poison disc, po passion, po I don't know, it's got a name, something. It's like where everything is like spaced out evenly. So it's not like randomly selected. It's like a nice space out. How am I doing? Oh, I'm doing all right-ish. I've got one minute 25 for a glossy mushroom. Why? I should have made it. No, we're, we're sticking with the glossy thing. Maybe like that. Is that enough dots? I think so. Then we'll do control I and then delete faces. Eight select all of them. And then I guess we'll do 
Um, I have to do control I, eh, control one to subdivide that again. Yeah, that'll do. And E to extrude, that's a lot of uh, lines. And control plus, and then we're back to white here. I guess that's it. Mushroom, glossy mushroom. Yeah, all right, uh, 47 seconds. What can I make in 47 seconds? One more glossy item. Uh, okay, I'll make a... Glossy mushroom, glossy... Uh, what more can you be? Something glossy. For 30 seconds. I either succeeded ahead of time or I'm failing because I don't think of anything else to do. All right, let's do... Can I do here? Let's just do like some extra stuff pouring down here on the side. E to extrude, rotate. E to extrude, rotate. <laughs> we lack of other stuff to do. Ah, scale. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Let's take that away. So I failed anyway. All right. There we go. <laughs> what I should have done, probably, is not touch this thing. What should I have done? Should I have done E to extrude that on? Let's try that. And scale it down tremendously. E to extrude. Am I, like, still on something like individual origins or something? Yeah. I'm just going to check here. Yeah. This doesn't count for the final result. Or does it? That's a thin thing. I'm just checking here, just checking. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like uh, wax anyway, does it? Now it looks a little bit more like wax. Okay, we have to have that, I guess. And then shift D to duplicate that on because it's been like dripping down to here. Uh, scale Z zero, that flattens it. Move this one in. I'm just gonna see, just gonna see what it looks like. That's all. No harm. E to extrude. E to extrude. Ah. What's going on here? That doesn't work. I'll try again. There, grab that verge. This verge. And move it in manually. And this control R, I think. G to move that on. G. G. And G. All right. Strange. Control R, scale. All right. I'll move it manually. Perfect. All right, so we've got a few glossy items. We've got a candy cane, an apple, cherry, a candle, to break the trend and a glossy mushroom as well. Why not? So if you didn't know, you can actually use the Infensia Pixpal palette texture to make glossy items as well. And it might not be plastic, but they're definitely shiny. We should actually have a look. This is what it would look like as well if you were to go to, I've never tried the mirror one here or this surface. So let's try it just to see what it looks like. G. All right, so it's got some sort of an HDR image there. That's why it's reflecting. We can actually change this one to like something else as well to see. There we go. So it works pretty good, like for Christmas balls or something like that. But bear in mind, when you bring this into a game engine, you'd need HDR eye lighting to get the reflections. And you might see as well, it's not actually reflecting any of the other objects. It's a little bit fake. It's only reflecting the, the like the, oh no. Whoa, it's doing screen space reflection. It's actually reflecting the candy cane as well. But it's not true reflection, uh, but it's actually reflecting it. Oh, slightly surprised at that. So 
don't forget that you can also do the mirror there. And if you want this uh, material, you can go to uh, the link in the description. That will actually bring you to Infensia.com. Go to Game Assets, scroll to the bottom and download the Infensia Pixpal palette texture. It's a Creative Commons Zero, CC Zero, public domain. You can do whatever you want. If you want to create game assets and sell them, then you can go ahead and do that as well. And you can include this texture. It's all, uh, all for you to use. Everyone can use it. So. Why don't you do that? And also, why not head over to the Infensia Discord server? There's a lot of modeling challenge there. And next week, I'll probably participate in the weekly modeling challenge. I do that every now and then. And maybe we should have a look at a few of the submissions that people do as well. Because you guys are making awesome stuff in the Discord and sharing it and uh, teaching each other different techniques, including me. I've been learning stuff from you guys. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to come back next week and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you then. Bye.